<laughs> it's actually not that heavy. No? I thought it was going to be heavy. They used the weight of it. <laughs> Welcome back to my canal. I am so excited because I absolutely love fall. So I thought, why not? Let's go ahead and do a fall. So, not soft because I still kind of wanted to look kind of beat, you know, because I, I think I might go to the pumpkin patch later today to take some pictures for Instagram. So I definitely want my makeup to still show up for pictures. Um, and with fall already here, I am so excited to bring to you guys a fall makeup look using mostly drugstore products. I'm so excited for this one because I know that the one that I previously just uploaded is really full beat glam. Uh, if you guys definitely want to check that one out, I'll link it here for you guys. And I've been watching Hocus Pocus, you guys. I love, love the fall. Even though I'm a huge summer girl, I just love like the warm weather, like wearing warm sweaters, you know, just really comfortable clothing. Um, the leaves are changing and they're falling here in Oregon and Oregon's um, fall is so beautiful. I absolutely love Oregon's fall time. Um, and so I just thought, why not? Let me just film another fall tutorial for you guys and hopefully you can follow along as well and pick up these products at your current Ulta um, store. That is where I went to go grab all of these products. All right, you guys, so for the eyeshadows, I'm gonna go into this palette by Morphe. This is the 9T Neutral Territory Palette. And look how pretty this palette is. It screams out fall for me. It's absolutely beautiful. You can create anything from a matte smoky eye, which is what we're gonna do today, to anything shimmer with using these cop this copper shade, this bronzy shade right here, this other copper shade. Like, you guys have no idea. I really wanna go into this and play with the shimmer shades too. <laughs> I'm like, mm, I'm really tempted. I guess we'll see if I decide to change my mind later in the tutorial. But I really wanna try my best to just stick to this, um, these four shades right here, and possibly the black shade. But for now, this is what I wanna focus on and create something more like on the smoky brownie side. Um, so we'll see. I absolutely love that there is a mirror as well. So you can definitely take this and travel with it. I saw this at Ulta and I was like, oh my God, this is perfect. Like I don't want a palette that can overwhelm you guys either. But also you can create, you know, numerous of looks with this particular palette, especially if you are more of a neutral girl and you like something more soft and subtle for an everyday look too, if you work like in an office um, and you don't want eyeshadows that are like too overpowering, you're going to scare your clients, you know? <laughs> uh, and then you can also turn this into like a nighttime glam because um, I love that it has a black in here. You can just smoke out the eye, apply this like on the um, center of the lid and you create a nice, you know, cat eye smoke smoky eye for the evening. So the first shade I'm going to go into is this one right here. Unfortunately, there's no name um, names on the eyeshadows, but I'm going to go into this one right here and use as our transition shade. And the brush that I'm using, you guys, is the Morphe R40. And the reason why I'm going into this one is because it's nice and fluffy and I want this look to look really um, blended since we are going into something more on the um, smoky side or look, you know, I want everything to be smoked out. But yeah, again, I don't wanna make this look super complicated because I want you guys to be able to create this at home as well. But you see how nice and soft that looks? Looks nice and blended. Still using the same color, you guys. Look how absolutely beautiful this is. I just went in um, and back and forth just to build up that pigmentation um, and build up that transition shape. But look how beautiful that is. You can literally leave it like this and apply one of those shimmery eyeshadows in the center and then smoke it out with that black, like I said, like I'm how I mentioned earlier. And that's gonna give you a nice um, evening look. But this is definitely darker than what I expected. I thought this was gonna come off a little bit lighter, um, which is totally okay. Uh, totally, Charlie, <laughs> totally okay. Um, I'm not mad at the color because overall, we want this to look very smoky. Which Halloween movies are your guys' favorite? Mine is definitely hands down Hocus Pocus. I can watch that movie like every single year for like 20 times and it never gets old. <laughs> If you guys are so young and don't know what that movie is, definitely check out your Disney Plus app and you guys can find it there. I just love it. It seriously brings me back to like my middle school days when I would watch it. And it just really puts you in a mood and a vibe when, you know, Halloween is getting close. Um, I love watching movies. I'm such a huge like movie geek. I love being home. I'm also a huge homebody. Um, and I just love cuddling, cuddling up with a nice warm blanket, some hot chocolate watching a nice scary movie or just you know watching hocus pocus it's definitely like a good time i absolutely love staying in 
Um, so the next shade I'm gonna go into you guys is this one right here. And of course, we're just gonna use this to blend out the edges. Still using the same Morphe R40 brush. And I'm just gonna go right on top of it like that, just to blend that out. This palette, you guys, I'm loving it so much. I haven't really heard a lot of people talk about this one, actually, unless I haven't been paying attention, but I love it. I love the way these are blending out. So I'm gonna go back into that same brown shade, this one right here that we used in the beginning, just to blend it out a little bit more and bring that color back, but still sticking it right here in the crease. We don't want to go up any higher because we did place that shade there. But I'm still using the same Morphe R40 brush. And if you guys haven't seen any of the Morphe brushes or gone to a Morphe store, you guys are definitely missing out. One of the best brushes, you guys, I haven't used any other brand in a very, very long time. Um, my favorite is the Morphe um, M433, which I actually have already... Um, told you guys which which brushes I love. I'll link it here as well um, And those brushes are the ones that I use on a constant daily basis Okay, so next we're gonna go into this one right here and this one's gonna go all over our lid And I'm going into a morphe m433 <laughs> Like I said, I am part of the um, morphe glam fam um, program so use my code GLAMFAM330. I don't know if you can, if it's available right now to use since it is a temporary code. It always comes and goes. Um, so definitely check it out. I'll link it down below for you guys. And it takes off um, $5 off any $10 purchase or more. You cannot use it on discounted items um, or on new collections. And it's a one-time use code. Um, like I said, I don't know if in store um it works i've heard people use it in stores and it doesn't work so um i don't know why but online it definitely does work because my friends and family have used it uh, but like i said sometimes it's there and sometimes it's not um look how beautiful this is i love love a brown smoky eye um just tapping in the eyeshadow so literally just tapping it in i'm not going like this I'm literally just tapping it in. Now I'm gonna go into these two right here to literally go like this. And what we're gonna do is just buff out the edges and highlight the brow bone. You can definitely go into like a shimmery shade, maybe this one for the brow bone, but I definitely wanna keep this on the matte side. Going into my Morphe M508, I've been loving this little guy. Look how tiny he is, I love it. It's such a good detailed brush to smoke out the lower lash line or the top lash line, which is exactly what we're gonna do right now. I'm gonna go into the that black matte shade, which is this one right here. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, uh, run this really close to the top lash line, literally like this, because once we go in with lashes, I definitely don't want to submit the band of the lashes. I just want like a small little wing with the eyeshadow. You saw that? You can definitely go in with liquid eyeliner if you want, but I definitely want to keep this look more softer. Ooh, see, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna take my makeup wipe. And I'm just gonna clean underneath. Clean up the liner as well. Like that. And it leaves it nice and like sharp. For lashes today, you guys, I've been loving this pair from Ardell. This is from their Naked Lashes collection, and I have the size 421. I've actually have already used these bad boys um, recently. Focus. There we go. <laughs> Look how wispy these lashes are. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. I definitely don't want a thick lash right now because we have a lot of smokiness going on. I just want something to look more on the natural side, but still it's gonna give me a nice little lift. And these lashes are absolutely gorgeous. For mascara, of course, my Bad Gal Bang from Benefit. You guys already know this is like my ride or die. Look how thin these lashes are. The lash band is super thin, so it's gonna be very comfortable on your eyes. As close to the skin as I can. Look how cute they look. Nice and comfy. And they're not expensive. <laughs> okay, so for primer, you guys, I unfortunately don't have a primer that I'm absolutely obsessed with, unfortunately. Um, so the one that I did use was the Too Faced Hangover Primer. Of course, you guys already know that I love this one. And I did say that I was going to use some drugstore products. Not all. <laughs> so don't come for me. For the foundation, I'm going to go into my... Maybelline 24 hour super safe foundation in the shade 332 golden caramel because again I am more on the self tan I love this foundation you guys so much because it's one from the drugstore 
two, it really covers everything for me. Like I've been breaking out like crazy. You guys see this? So much texture from those stupid masks. I am just so, so over them. I know that it is to protect us. <laughs> you know, it has really affected my skin, you know, and I have like done everything in the book. A lot of people have recommended me different things and I've seen a lot of things on TikTok. Nothing has worked. It seriously has me breaking out and getting textured skin, which I'm not used to because I don't ever really ever have textured skin like this. Um, it's ever since I've been using those masks and I'm just like oh, so over it. You guys have no idea. So I was at Ulta and I have used the Morphe concealers in the past and I think I might have gotten a shade that's way too light for me. Um, so I got something more on the golden undertones because I am a little bit more on the on set the self tan. Um, so I was like, let me just give it another try. Um, I've heard people really do like it, um, but we'll see. They are super affordable. They're $10, I think. Um, so we'll see how this does. I got the shade um, C2.35. For cream contour, I'm going to go into the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer. Um, and I haven't used this in a hot minute, actually. I'm going to go into the shade Honey 415. <laughs> I'm gonna go into my KKW Beauty um, brush. I'm just gonna start to buff this in. I want this to look as natural <laughs> as possible. <laughs> go ahead and blend out your concealer. So pretty, okay, Morphe. Maybe it was just the color that I got last time. This actually looks really nice. Get the forehead, don't forget the forehead. So a little update on the concealer, you guys. Absolutely beautiful. I think I definitely went into the wrong shade, you know, maybe that's why I didn't like it very much. I don't know, but I was more guarita, um, so I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> so not to set everything, I'm gonna go into the Airspun. Who remembers Airspun? I absolutely love this powder so much. Um, it's only like five dollars, and you can find it at Walmart, pretty much at any drugstore store, um, and I love it. I, I get the color naturally neutral because there are different colors. Now to set the cream contour, I'm gonna go into my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Normal to Dry, um, Normal to Oily, sorry, powder in the shade 330 Toffee. I love this powder, you guys. Love, love, love. Like just like makes my skin look super soft. Um, and it sets my makeup or it sets my contour stuff really well. Get my forehead, make it super tan. <laughs> I'm gonna go into the eyeshadow as well. Just so everything looks blended. Really softly though. I'm not going like here. I'm going like up here by the brow bone. I always touch up my brows later anyways. Of course, we can't forget the nose. And I'm using my Morphe E30 to cream contour my nose. Again, we're gonna take some into the eyeshadow. I'm gonna go back to my Morphe M508 brush, you guys. And what we're gonna do is pick up this shade right here. And we're gonna go ahead and smoke our lower lash line. Now, I'm going to try my best to not bring it all the way down because I know I'm so bad at that. <laughs> um, I just like it really smoky. But you see how small and detailed this little brush is? I love it. I'm going to go into a Morphe M433 brush and I'm just going to pick up this shade right here. And we're just going to run it towards the lower under eye. I'm going to take a fluffy brush, you guys, and then just dust the powder all over my face. This also will help to set the entire face as well. For blush, I'm gonna go into an oldie but a goodie. This is from Milani, and this is the shade Luminoso. Who remembers this shade, you guys? I feel like it was such a staple in your collection if you had this on YouTube. I feel like everybody <laughs> had this. For the under eye, I'm gonna go into this Buxom eyeliner in the shade Here's My Number, and we're gonna place this in the waterline. Apply this underneath. How do you say this? Like tideline? Yeah, tideline. Going into the same mascara and apply this towards my lower lashes. So now for lips, normally I would go into a nude lipstick, but since it's fall, I definitely want to add something more, you know, intense <laughs> with more color. So I'm gonna go into the MAC. This is the Mahogany Lip Pencil um, first. And then for the lipstick, we're gonna go into the Maybelline Superstate Matte Ink Liquid Lipsticks in the shade 75 Fighter. I love these lipsticks. Um, the key to these is to not apply too much and to use your finger. I mean, I always use my finger to like blot my lipstick, 
but that is the key when it comes to these liquid lipsticks. Alright my honeys, that's pretty much it for today's fall makeup look inspired by obviously um, drugstore products. Hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, please give it a big thumbs up. I'm going to go ahead and head over to the pumpkin patch right now. If you do recreate this or you found this video helpful, please tag me on Instagram because you know that I love to see your recreation. Comment down below and let me know what your plans are for Halloween. Um, so with that said, I love you guys so much. Besitos, los quiero. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!